How's it going, Reef Keepers? I am continuing my coverage of the uh, JCOD slash JBOW DMP Wavemaker line, which if you guys have seen any of my recent content, you'll know it is uh, JBOW's attempt to rip off the Ecotech Vortec and just directly clone it as close as they possibly could. So over the past few days, I've released videos about f the flow, about the sound the pump makes, uh, and we've done a deep dive into everything in the box and all the finer details of the components. So uh, logically, the next place to go is the app, right? So what you see in front of you is the interface of the JBow Aqua app, which is what connects to the pump via Bluetooth to program and control a given pump or actually the whole series of pumps. As you can see, I've got three pumps attached to this app. Just real quick, I'll show you what the app looks like. This is the appearance of it, just you know, on, on your home screen. So when you hop into the app, this is your, your home page interface, so to speak. You've got all of your pumps that are connected via Bluetooth and in range that show up so that you can hop into any one of them that you want. You've got a little profile that you can mess around in if you want to you know, change your name or whatever. And then you've got uh, a little add button and the add function is very simple. You hop into, you tap the add button, hop into that interface and it just displays a list of any Jabao products that are Bluetooth capable and have not been added. So if you want to add one of those that haven't been added, you tap on it, name it whatever you want and it's attached. Very simple, like 10 seconds or less process. I really appreciate that. So uh, I will say some parts of the app are a little bit clunky. So I'm about to hop into the DMP20 to show you how to kind of change settings and navigate that. But note that I have to do a long press to enter it, which is kind of old school. It used to be that apps did a lot more long press stuff. That's not the case anymore because it is a bit cumbersome, slows you down, but hold down and boom, it enters into the settings window, the programming space for that given pump, in this case, the DMP20. You can see across the bottom, there's three options, manual, linkage, and program. So program allows you to set your schedule and set all the different modes that you want to run throughout the course of a day. Manual lets you hop into individual modes. So if you wanted to do like an impromptu feeding, you could go in there and select feed mode for 10 minutes and boom, just feed your fish. And then the pumps will come back on after that time span and resume the program. Linkage, I haven't messed around with. I believe this is to... Uh, get a couple of different pumps, if not a series of pumps, and pair them so that you can like create wave action and stuff in your tank. I have a second DMP model on the way. So in a couple of weeks, I will play around with that. But for now, for people who are getting these pumps in actively, I wanted to go through this app so that people, you know, had some kind of guide and weren't frustrated. So uh, the most important of these three is program. So we're going to long press that and hop into it. This is the window that you're met with. If your pump has no program applied, everything will just be like kind of grayed out like this. And you've got this edit function right here. Tapping on edit, you'll see five modes pop up. Classic mode, sign mode, random mode, constant mode, and feed mode. All of these are very responsive and easy to uh, kind of select your way through for the sake of just creating the video efficiently. Uh, we're just going to roll with classic mode and we will go ahead and tap on the save icon, which will apply it to the program. Boom. Now it assumes you're just wanting to run that mode all day. However, that's, as we know, not usually the case with us reef keepers. We like to have things all parsed out and very specific and run different modes. So I'll show you how to apply a second mode for a certain time span. In order to do that, you need to adjust the time span of the first mode that you apply. Grab the slider and move it, and it will allow you to manipulate the sliders to limit this first mode to a certain window of time. So grabbing the slider, let's say that we just want to run this for about that long, a quarter of the day, okay? Now you've got all of this gray space where the pump would just be off. Any gray space is just like inactive pump period. So in order to go ahead and program within that gray space, you just double tap in the gray area, wherever gray space is, wherever gray space appears, and you can hop right back into that select mode screen. So let's go ahead and select like random mode. 
hit save, boom, all of that remaining mode has now had random mode, or random mode applied to it, all the remaining space on the schedule. So as you can see, it's quite simple to go ahead and apply different modes at different time spans. Now, if you want to get super technical with it, right, you can hop back into the schedule and you can actually go into separate modes and there's a little gear icon you can tap on where you can adjust the frequency that like a wave occurs or whatnot. You can also adjust your flow intensity or your maximum flow intensity rather. This is really nice. However, I feel the need to point something out that is a little bit of a disappointment. As you can see, classic mode, sign mode, and constant mode all have this little gear that you can hop into and adjust your maximum flow rate. However, there is one mode that is critically devoid of this capability, random mode. And as you guys know, we reef keepers love random mode because it simulates the turbulence of a reef environment. There's all kinds of crashing waves that are happening on a coral reef. That is what corals are built for is random. The fact that we cannot set the intensity, the maximum intensity in random mode means that if you are in random mode at various times, your pump is going to go to 100% and begin absolutely battering your corals at 100% intensity. Not exactly what we want. In very real terms, what this means for us reef keepers is that instead of sizing up in pump strength to give yourself, you know, a stronger pump in case you were to one day want to tap into it, we're going to have to size down and get pumps. If we want to run random mode, we got to get iterations of the DMP wave maker that have a top end flow rate that are not going to absolutely rip the polyps off of our coral. I have reached out to JBow, so they have a customer service email, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, they're not known for like support or warranty or anything like that, that kind of service. But I sent them a very detailed email explaining the importance of having this capability. Will they respond? Do they even check the inbox? We don't know. I'll update this video with a pinned comment if they do respond, but I certainly hope that they respond because this is this random mode deal where there's no ability to adjust the, the extreme parameters of random mode is, I would say, detrimental to their sales ability in the United States because there are people who are very concerned with dialing in the strength of their pump, especially in random mode, especially in reef tanks. And this is something that they really need to implement. I, I mean, you know, maybe you guys run like wave modes and stuff. I am a random mode guy. So I'm very much hoping that this gets remedied because it's software. I would assume it could be remedied. And this was just a simple oversight. Hopefully like again, it can just be changed. All right. So hopping back out, uh, into the, the main programming screen for this DMP 20, we can go ahead and hop into manual mode with a long press and I'll show you how manual mode works. Cause it is a bit quirky, right? The software certainly needs a bit of a brush up. I'm not sure if they're concerned or not. I hope they are. Um, so let's go ahead and you can navigate between all the different modes as you can see here. However, what we want is just regular feed mode to demonstrate this. So, You'll note, like once we go into feed mode, you would think you could just hit this and feed mode would activate. That's not the case. However, once you have selected feed mode and gone into it in manual setting, when you go back, you will see that now it is prepared for feed mode on the main programming screen. And when you tap it, feed mode will activate. So this is a little quirk that I actually I didn't expect. I had to stop the video. I hadn't noticed this quirk. Um, and now I'm gonna pair two videos together to show you guys this but it should solve a lot of frustration for people who are like, why is this just not working in the manual screen? Answer, who knows, but it's working. It's, as long as you select a manual mode you want, hop back out, you can make that the pump go into that mode manually and critically, you can select with this little gear the time length that you would like it to be in that mode. 
So if you want to feed for 10 minutes, you just confirm you want it to feed for 10 minutes. And then for 10 minutes, it will just roll on 10% to allow you to feed, right? So that is the long and the short. Again, I can't test the linkage mode um, to see how these things pair up and work in tandem with one another yet because I don't have two pumps, but I will eventually. And uh, if you guys have questions about this app and how it works, uh, please let me know. But overall, what I would say is it works once you figure out the couple of quirks and you get used to the, the cumbersome long press. Uh, the con connectivity seems fairly stable. Um, and hopefully in the future they add that ability to adjust the intensity to random mode because I really think that's going to be critically important to their long-term success with this pump. Um, I, I think that that's, I think that's of the utmost importance should be at the top of their priority list when it comes to the software side of what they're trying to do. But this is a good start. So, all right, guys, that's what I got for you today. And uh, we'll do like a whole wrap up review shortly. Like I would say next couple days, I will just kind of like get the pump back out and sit with it and just have like a 10 minute chat with you guys about everything that I experienced, putting it through its paces for an entire week and really focusing hard on it. So thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.